In this tutorial, we will take a quick look at jQuery. So we are not going to cover everything of jQuery, but we will just take a basic look at jQuery library and understand how to use it. So let's get started. jQuery is a very powerful and popular JavaScript language library. jQuery is used to manipulate DOM element and executing AJAX request. jQuery is really very simple and simplify your JavaScript code. So let's understand main three difference to use jQuery library. jQuery is very lightweight when comparing to the JavaScript framework. jQuery has various plugins which can be used for different needs. The third main important of using jQuery is it is a designer friendly library. Using jQuery, you can create thousands of animation with minimal code. Using minimal code, you can achieve the same result using jQuery. To use jQuery, you need to include jQuery library to your document. The easiest way to include jQuery is using CDN. jQuery is free to download, so you can download it and link to your document as well. So just go to your browser and type jQuery CDN. Just click on this website and down here, right click here and select copy link address. I am using minified version of jQuery. Using the script tag, I will just include jQuery library to my document. So I will just go to my dom.html file and just before the custom JavaScript file, I will just create script tag here and in the source attribute, I will just press Ctrl V. This will paste the address of the jQuery library. Now you are free to use any jQuery code in your document. In jQuery, if you wanted to create any variable, you need to specify dollar sign to make a valid identifier. A dollar sign is an alice of jQuery function and this function simply refer to a jQuery object. The jQuery object hold set of DOM elements. We are not going too deep in jQuery right now, but we will just understand the basic concept. jQuery function primarily call using two ways with CSS selector or with HTML. Calling jQuery function using CSS selector will return jQuery object matching that selector. Just like we are using query selector all method in JavaScript. Now let's understand how to select a paragraph using jQuery. So I will just create two paragraphs in the dom.html file. So I will just say p class para1 and specify some demo text. So I will say paragraph1 and just create another paragraph. So I will say p class para2 and specify text paragraph2. Right and just after that in main.js file. I will just write one line of code to select the paragraph like this. Here you don't need to specify any query selector method to select paragraph. Just use dollar sign to call jQuery function and specify your CSS selector. So I will just say let p is equal to and to select the first paragraph I will say dollar and in the parenthesis I will specify double quote and say dot para 1 right so this will select my first paragraph so i will say console.log and print paragraph on the console so this statement will return the object on the console so right now we have this paragraph in this object to access the paragraph i will just say console.log and specify p variable with index number so i will say 0 here right so when you execute this you will get your paragraph on the console right so if I just change the second paragraph class name and just say para1 here, then jQuery will select both paragraph and you can access this paragraph using jQuery object, right? So you can see both paragraph here and you can access both paragraph using index number, right? Now let's understand how to call jQuery function with HTML. Calling jQuery with HTML on the other hand will create a new DOM element. To create a new DOM element using jQuery is very simple. Using only one line of code, you can create new DOM element like this. So in main.js file, I will just say let para3 is equal to and just call the jQuery function using dollar sign and in the parenthesis, I will just put double quote here and say p 
class para3 and specify text to the paragraph so i will say paragraph 3 here and just close the paragraph tag right so using console.log you can access this paragraph with index number so this statement will create a new paragraph for you so this will create a new jquery object and using this object you can access your paragraph with index number right jquery makes your javascript very easy and simple if you wanted to learn more about jquery then must tell me to start a jquery tutorial series in the comment